Do you have milk, sugar and peanuts at home? If so, you're in for a treat. It's surprising how these simple everyday ingredients can be the stars of a tantalizing dessert. The milk provides a velvety base, the sugar adds sweetness and the peanuts bring in a delightful crunch. It's the perfect blend of textures and flavors. So, grab your apron and join us as we whip up something delightful. Are you ready to transform these simple ingredients into a delightful dessert? Who would have thought? Milk, sugar and peanuts, the humble trio that can create magic in your kitchen. Today, we're weaving together these simple ingredients to whip up a heavenly dessert that's bound to leave your taste buds tingling. Imagine a lusciously creamy concoction sweetened to perfection and graced with the crunch of roasted peanuts. That's right, we're making a divine milk and peanut dessert that's as easy as one, two, three. This dessert is a symphony of flavors and textures. The milk and sugar come together to form a velvety base, while the peanuts add a delightful crunch. The sweetness of the sugar pairs beautifully with the rich, earthy flavor of the peanuts, creating a dessert that's both comforting and indulgent. It's the kind of treat that makes you close your eyes in delight with the very first bite. Now that you know what we're making, it's time to get started. First things first, preparing our ingredients. This recipe calls for some everyday pantry staples, milk, sugar, and peanuts. Let's begin with the milk. We're going to need two cups of full cream milk. Pour it into a measuring cup to make sure you're getting the right amount. It's always better to be precise with liquid ingredients. Next up is the sugar. One cup of granulated sugar is what we need for this dessert. When measuring sugar, make sure to level it off with the back of a knife to get an accurate measurement. Too much or too little sugar can drastically change the taste of your dessert. Finally, the star of our show, peanuts. We'll need one cup of unsalted roasted peanuts. If you've only got raw peanuts, don't worry. You can easily roast them in a pan over medium heat until they're golden brown. Once they're cooled, you can chop them up. Remember, we're going for a rough chop here, not peanut dust. Now let's talk about mixing. We're not just throwing everything into a pot and hoping for the best. We're going to dissolve the sugar in the milk first, stirring constantly until it's fully dissolved. Then, we'll add in the chopped peanuts. Now that our ingredients are ready, we can move on to the fun part, cooking. With our ingredients prepped, it's time to bring our dessert to life. Let's begin by pouring our milk into a medium-sized saucepan. Ensure the heat is set to medium-low, because we want to warm the milk gently, not boil it. As the milk warms, you'll notice a delightful creamy aroma wafting up. Once the milk is warm, we'll gradually add our sugar. This process is vital to ensure that the sugar dissolves evenly without clumping. Stir the mixture continuously, feeling the transformation as the granulated sugar melts away. Now comes the crowning glory of our dessert, the peanuts. But we're not just going to dump them in, no, we're going to toast them lightly in a separate pan over medium heat. This step will amplify their nutty flavor, making our dessert even more tantalizing. Once the peanuts have achieved a golden brown hue, it's time to introduce them to our sweet, creamy mixture. As they dive into the milky base, you'll notice the mixture thickening slightly. That's the magic of peanuts. They not only add flavor but also give our dessert a pleasingly rich texture. Remember, Patience is a virtue in the kitchen. Keep the heat low and stir our dessert gently. This will prevent the milk from scorching and the sugar from caramelizing too much. As you stir you'll notice the mixture becoming denser and creamier. The milk, sugar and peanuts are coming together to form something truly magnificent. Let it simmer gently for a few minutes more allowing the flavors to meld together perfectly. And just like that, we're almost done. Turn off the heat and let our dessert cool down a bit. The peanuts will continue to soften, absorbing the sweet milk, and the flavors will deepen even further. And there you have it, a dessert made from milk, sugar, and peanuts. But we're not done yet, there's one final step. Now for the moment of truth, the taste test. Our dessert, a sweet symphony of milk, sugar, and peanuts, sits before us, inviting and irresistible. Its golden hue, a testament to the caramelized sugar, contrasts beautifully with the creamy white of the milk and the nutty brown of the peanuts. The aroma is a delightful mix of sweetness and warmth, the peanuts lending a comforting earthiness. Let's dig in. As the spoon cuts through, the texture is smooth and creamy, yet there's an exciting crunch from the peanuts. And the taste? It's a dance of flavors where each ingredient gets its moment in the spotlight. The sweetness of the sugar, the richness of the milk, and the crunchiness of the peanuts come together in a harmonious blend. It's a simple dessert but it packs a powerful punch of flavor. Who knew something so simple could taste so good? So there you have it, a delicious dessert made from just milk, sugar, and peanuts. 
We've journeyed together through this simple yet rewarding recipe, from the initial ingredient assembly to the final mouth-watering presentation. It's an example of how the most basic pantry staples can be transformed into a culinary delight. Let's quickly recap. We started with fresh milk, granulated sugar, and plain peanuts. We carefully prepped our ingredients, keeping in mind the importance of precise measurements. Then we cooked our dessert, allowing the heat to work its magic, turning simplicity into a sweet symphony of flavors. Lastly, we presented our creation, a testament to the joy of homemade cooking. Now, it's your turn to take the reins. Try this recipe at home. Experiment with it. Maybe add a hint of vanilla or a dash of cinnamon. Share your results, your triumphs, and even your delightful disasters. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more delicious and easy recipes. Happy cooking!